Hey everybody, iHeartMovies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 2. Today, preparations for Ragu O Ragula. I'll tell y'all right now, he's a bitch. He is a bitch, and a bitch, and a bitch. Need I say more? I really don't. But, well, we'll you will see in due time. Um, I'll tell y'all right now, this video may not include me defeating Ragu O Ragula. Um, just because of the fight's random nature, and the fact that he's a bitch. I mean, we'll see what happens. I might get lucky on camera and actually beat him. You know, maybe like anti lp or curse or something, if that's the thing. This bitch doesn't fool around. But one thing you absolutely want to do. Any crest caps you have in your inventory, make slow down. Because... Believe it or not, he is susceptible to slow down. If you can get him slowed down twice, or hell, even once is helpful, but you really want to try to go for it twice if at all possible. Um, you'll drop his response down by 500 points each time you use it, or at least 500 and 250. Either way, it's a lot. And that makes the fight, well, a lot easier. Still a pain in the ass, but regardless. Uh, with that, now let's teleport over to Sylvan, Sylvan Castle. I want to pick up a new red power here for Maravel. Right, he was also a vulnerable to sleep. And, well, it's not really a cheap tactic at all. Because here's the thing with sleep. A lot of the optional bosses that I fought so far, like the optional super ones, they're also vulnerable to sleep. But it's kind of a cheap way to go because, well, it's just kind of a cheap way to go. Okay, don't want these guys. I'm looking for um, man traps, those uh, plant things we fought way back when. But yeah, I have no trouble with using Sleep on Ragu, because that can literally save your ass. Um, like, if you need if you needed to. Only thing is, you kind of have to have good luck with it. Literally, you need to have, like, a good luck stat. And, unfortunately, Marvel has worse luck. Yeah, and she also kind of needs to have an elemental rank for the entire battle, so I can't really boost that at all. So, yeah, um... Things aren't really in my favor, I will say. Anyway, there's a man trap, so what I want to do is just use a skill drain on it. Have Ashley and Brad take out the other two guys here first, just so they're out of the way. Might take me a few tries to learn sleep because with my low my uh, low luck, well that's just how it is. But anyway, if, if need be, I'll just get it off camera or whatever, or I can just learn it right now, which would be great. Nope. Guess not. Could have learned this a lot earlier in the game and used it for the, for the other op optional bosses, but I didn't really feel the need to because they're easily beatable without it. I mean, I beat all of them just fine, as you as you guys saw. But yeah, I you pretty much need sleep for Ragu. Oh, well, okay. You don't technically need it. He's beatable without it, but it's super super helpful to have it. So that's why I'm going for it. I can ever learn it. Although, actually, it wouldn't be a terrible idea if I gave Marvel something to boost her luck right now. Um, so, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and give her. What boosts luck? I don't even remember what boosts luck in this game. Um, amulets? There we go. That will help a little bit. Now, can I learn it this time, please? No. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just do this off camera real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, hey, we're back. Um, not quite sure if you saw that after I re after I unpaused the video, but I got sleep my very next try, actually. <laughs> of course, right after I paused the video, I learned sleep. Like, go figure, right? Okay, so, that's our preparation done there. Um, also, 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 I did this earlier, but I want to go over it again here right now. Definitely get some elemental rains. You want three fire rains and three dark rains. I'll explain more so about that in, in a little while as to why I have them. But for right now, let's teleport over to Holst because this guy is deep within the Holst mine. And actually, I'll just tell y'all right now. I'll just well, I'll just meet you guys to where the uh, pyramid is deep inside the mine. There is a good ways through. I I won't do that on camera. So I'll just well, like I said, meet you guys there when I find the pyramid. So BRB. Okay, uh, we're back. Went ahead and went, just went back to the save point here, just to kind of show more, like actually show like where Ragu is. Um, past the save point, just go over to the right before those um, those uh, rail 
things, whatever the hell they, those actually are. Make your way down here. And here's where Bitch Princess resides. So, what I want to do for my setup, we're going to go with Ashley, Tim, and Marvel to start out, start things out. Um, give everyone fire rings first. Because Ragu will always, and I mean always, open the battle with one trillion degrees instead of fire attack on the entire party. This will save your ass to start out with. The second turn, he'll use um, Dark Nova, whatever, it's Black Nova. It's a Dark Elemental attack on the entire party. He will always use that second. Um, afterwards, it's RNG, pretty much. Um, now, one thing you also want to have here, I should have also mentioned sooner, is the Viper Fang. You find that around the Spiral Tower on the outside of it there. You can either use it here, or use it against Angel Moas. I think it's a little better to use here, and, well, we'll I'll sh explain why. If I, can, if I can actually even use a thing in battle, because I might not even be able to if I'm just super unlucky. What you also might want to do is have Marvel with better luck. I'm not sure how you boost luck exactly besides with accessories, so I'm kind of screwed there. Um, so yeah, uh, level-wise you want to be, well, around where I'm at now, um, upper 50s to like even 60s or so would be better if you can swing that. Um, yeah, you also want like the best equipment in the game for everybody, best weapons, um, best armor, all the mediums, well, the best mediums. Um, also, the power boost would be extremely helpful helpful here. Um, and yeah, again, you want the um, the uh, Viper Fane. Now, I'm getting, getting open my optional boss guide on Game Facts here. Well, credit to um, Otabo, he's the one who wrote this on Game Facts here. So yeah, he deserves super credit because this guide is extremely detailed, top to bottom, with strategies for every optional boss. Okay. Now, the goal for this battle is going to be to get Ragu down to 20,000 HP or less, because then his AI script will want him to use um, impact bombers every single turn. Once you do that, you're golden, because then you can bring in Lota, and which also, by the way, I won't bring Lota in until that point, because you don't want to risk her dying, because once you get to that point, all she'll need to do is heal you, and you'll be fine for the entire battle. That, that, that's all he'll do. And now I'll be a little quiet, because Ragu has unique battle music. Master of the beginning of the and the end, Ragu O Ragula. Such string music for such an annoying boss. Alright, anyway, first turn here. Ashley used to slow down uh, Crest Cap. Tim, go for first aid. And Marvel, go for sleep. Yeah, okay, here's one trillion degrees. Again, this will always go first, no matter what. So, Fire Rings will have the damage. Tim will fully heal you or close to it. And with any luck, slow down will work, and sleep will also work. Son of a bitch. I knew that would happen. Sleep will probably also miss, just because. Yeah, figures. Okay, um, round two. Um, keep Ashley with fire rain. Uh, give Tim and uh, Marvel dark rains. Ashley will be able to su survive Black Nova without a dark rain. Tim and Marvel will not be able to. Um, Ashley, go for a Mega Berry on himself. You'll see why. Although, if slowdown didn't work the first time, it would be a really good idea to get it to land like as soon as you can. So we're gonna try that here. Uh, Tim go for first aid again, and Marvel go for sleep. Sleep will buy you some time if you're lucky to even have it to work, but it can also work for multiple turns, as in he'll stay asleep for like two, three, even four rounds sometimes if you're lucky. Now slowdown can work now. That will help immensely. Okay, thank God that'll help out a lot. Now if you get two slowdowns on him then your entire party will be able to outspeed him. Then you're in good shape. Um, then I go for... Okay, now at this point, um, we're on round three. Trying to read through my notes here, actually, just to be sure. Because, yeah, at this point, it's, it's really risky, because you want, to, you want him to be asleep, but you also... I mean, you don't know what 
Raggy will do at this point. The first two turns are set in stone no matter what. Um, so I'm just going to go for access here for Ashley. Uh, Tim, go for first aid. Um, you can also try to mix up your rain combos here as well. Um, then you don't know if he'll use one trillion degrees or um, Black Nova. We want him to use either Smithereens or Void Effects because those are not too much to worry about here. But luckily, yeah, now first aid will outspeed Raidu, so we're good on that front. But then he'll go afterwards, and yeah, he used that, so Tim and Marvel are both dead, so I'm pretty much screwed. That's just how he is. You don't know what he'll do, so yeah. If your levels are a lot higher, you can survive that, but it's not really even worth trying to try that bullshit, so... Um, now, since he slowed down once already, um, Loader should be able to outspeed him at this point, I would hope. Now, here's the thing also, like, why I'm using slowdown as opposed to, say, quick. He can use Void Effect, which will, um... Not, well, it'll cancel out all your status effects, so that'll cancel your quick. Whereas, for, um... Who's a what's it? Um, slowdown is permanent, so that's why I went with that route. Um, I'm gonna heal up Ashley, actually. Um, no, just defend Loka. Actually, you know what? Um, Ashley, heal yourself. Loka, just um, defend. Cannon, go for shoot item with Viper Fang. With any luck, the power boost will kick into effect and it'll deal 50,000 damage instead of its normal 25,000 damage. You've kind of. Oh, and I didn't equip Reigns. Fuck. I'm stupid. Yeah, I kind of deserve to die in this battle because didn't give many rings. Okay, uh, let's just give Loka, give her a dark rain, I guess. Um, Ashley, full revive. Um, Loka, Mystic Life Orb, and with any luck, maybe he'll use um, Smithereens or something or Void Effect, and I'll be able to kind of come back. Yeah, Raidu has um, 99,999 HP. So with the Viper Fane plus Power Boost into effect, um, let's, have, let's have his HP gone right there, thankfully. Um, full Revive Loka, Mater Berry, Ashley, um, and I pretty much won't be able to recover from this, so this will pretty much be a lost attempt. Um, but yeah, after a while, if you get everything right, slow down to work, and um, sleep to also work, um, you'll eventually just want Ashley to do the bulk of your damage, or if you're able to, have Brad use Lockdown with an arm, or Cannon use one of her GAT abilities. Um, besides that, there's not a whole lot you can really do. Um, oh yeah, gotta try to keep Cannon alive. Um, Ashley just go for Mad Lucid. Um, Lilka can use a slowdown spell, so I'll try the Crescent Cap again for that. Um, if I can find it. Oh, there you go. Cannon shoot item with the Viper Fang. And yeah, like I said, once you get him down to 20,000 HP or less, and also keep a calculator with you as well to keep track of his HP, so then when you know to bring Loka in, because I probably shouldn't have. Yeah, there. Oh, my god, I got lucky. Holy shit. <laughs> wow, that apparently can miss. Okay, double damage didn't kick in, but that's fine. If this works. Of course not. Okay, uh, we are pretty much screwed. Um, no, actually now at this point, um, give Cannon an elemental ring. Um, let's take off... Um, let's just give you a fire ring. Uh, where are my fire rings? Right down here. I'll also give you a of Pain back just for some better stats. There you go. Um, Ashley, Mad Lucid, Loka Defend, Cannon Defend. Yeah, I was, I was trying to say earlier, once, he, once he's down to 20,000 HP, he'll start spamming impact bombers. And then, um, that's when you normally can bring in Loka and just have her heal, because he'll be able to outspeed Raidu. And then you'll just be able to heal that afterwards every time he does that. And then just go with Mad Lucy from Ashley, and you'll eventually win. Um, just, I was very unlucky with getting sleep, and, um... And, um, slow down to not work. I only got slow down to work once. I guess the slow down crest cap is a luck based thing, or I'm not sure if it's a sorcery based thing as well. I really don't know. And yeah, that's why yeah, I don't want to use quick here because, well, void effects will nullify that, and Lota might be able to outspeed Raggy for a little bit with quick if, she, if I cast it on her. 
but then otherwise, no, because, um, he'll just use Void Effects, and then boom, Raggy was faster than her, so there's really no point in doing so. Um, so just kind of defend, well, maybe, um, actually no, just keep defending, actually, maybe I'll get lucky, and I'll be able to actually cast the slowdown spell, and if get that to land, then maybe things can kind of fall into place a little bit more. Bloody with them defending, um, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, I actually can survive that, no problem. Um, yeah, he'll be able to survive Black Nova, um, just fine anyway. So, um, yeah, Mad Loose Seed. Um, I gotta play risky here, I, I gotta try to actually use the slowdown spell. Cannon. Um, you might be able to outspeed Ragu, so heal Ashley, maybe? At least in Atsis form, you're actually can outspeed Ragu. I think even without slowdown in effect, um, you'd be able to outspeed him in Atsis form. I was hoping that would miss. I was really hoping that would miss. Just Lilter can't survive that shit. No way. <sighs> yeah, this just this battle is just not fun, no matter how you look at it. You need well, for one thing, you need high levels, which I do have that at least. But you just need luck and a lot of patience. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, I probably won't kill this guy. Unless this video goes on for like a half an hour long and I somehow manage to pull a win out of my ass. Which would just be incredible if I could if I could do that. I highly doubt it, though. Uh, Mad Lucy, defend, defend. Now here's the thing though, even if I get him to the Impact Bomber stage, so he'll just keep wiping out Loka and Cannon regardless, because I won't be able to keep up their, on their HP enough to survive, so, like, yeah. Um, Mad Lucy, maybe Cannon with, with up parameter will be able to outspeed him. Maybe, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Although he could very well use Black Nova next turn and kill everybody in, you know, game over, so. Oh hey, she cannot speed him now, huh. Okay, well that's good to know actually. Not that it matters because the battle's over because... Yep, called it. Yeah. You can't really cheese this guy like you could with, um... Ragnar Ragnar and Wild Arms 1. You have to... Yeah. Yeah, so there's Ragu. I hope you guys enjoy this screen because you'll be seeing it a lot if you're playing the game along with me or just on your own time or whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna try Ragu some more off camera to maybe work out a better strategy. Um, or hell, maybe I'll even show Angel Moe's next time. I'm not sure. Tune in next time when I do more stuff. This has been I Heard Movie Sign Up. Guys, have a great day and thanks for watching.